Something tells me that's gonna get pretty high here. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! Okay. No! You can do this. Come on, little stick figure guy. Mm. Stick figure guy, you can do this if you put your mind to it. Checkpoint! Woohoo! This looks like a tough jump. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Ugh, there we go. Get over there. Nope. Nope. Dang it! Sometimes you just don't jump. Dang it! It's like you gotta jump a little early, maybe? Nope. Jump. Maybe over to here. No! Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Today I'll be checking out five more Nest Maker games. Most of these are a work in progress or a demo, but I thought it'd be fun to check out some more games people are working on in the community. Let's check out this first game. It's called Underground Adventure. It's made by this guy named Dale. Let's start it up. All right, here we go. Ooh, I like how small he's made the character. It really makes the screen seem a lot larger, especially since there's not screen scrolling yet. That guy's pretty cool, and he goes underground. He's kind of like a stretch boo. And he can't hurt you when he's underground. That's really cool. I also like this background. It adds some depth. You got a weapon. Press B to shoot. Sweet. Now we can kick the crap out of stuff. No! Oh my god, we almost died. <laughs> At least there's a way to get back out. Alright, let's try attacking from over here. Kick the blob out. Got another one of those stretchy guys. Ooh, a little acid dripping from the ceiling. I like that. A heart up there we could use. How many shots does it take? Okay, two shots to kill him. Got one of our hearts back. And we unlocked the door, which gives us a key. Now we have to find a locked door. Cool. Seems really well done. I love these enemies. Never thought to make everything really tiny. It really works well. This is definitely an awesome idea. Watch out for the spikes. Pick him out. Whoa, that's scary. Okay, that can't hit me anyways. Take him out. There's the locked door up there. Under the locked door. There's a crystal. The end! <laughs> so this is a work in progress demo, but I'm excited to see more of this. All right, well that wraps up the first game. We got four more to check out. Let's move on to the next. Up next we have a game called Omega Driver, which is a temporary name. This is a work in progress I wanted to show off. Made by a guy on the forums named Super Mario Brother. And this one has some of the best graphics I've seen so far made by anyone in Nest Maker. Kind of gets sort of a Mega Man vibe from it, but the backgrounds look fantastic. The foregrounds, everything about it, the main character. And there's not much you can actually do yet. I'll add some background music as well because there's no music yet. There's little tidbits in this demo, like this says some puzzle to open this door. So he's letting you know he's planning on making it to where you have to solve some sort of a puzzle before you can get in here. Obviously he hasn't done that yet. So all we're really doing is checking out these amazing graphics this guy has made just to show you what you're capable of making if you have the skill in Nest Maker. So that's an, probably going to be an elevator, I bet. Uh, let's see. There's going to be an elevator here. Jump over for now. So yeah, it looks like there's going to be some elevators in these sections. NPCs look really great too. Each screen though has a lot of character to it. Very, very well done. Let's see what this girl's got to say. Door unlocking puzzle. So yeah, these are just little tidbits. Oh, there's little things like the some of the text stayed down there. Um, that's stuff that will obviously be fixed as the game progresses. But let's just quickly run through here and check out some screens. I'm skipping some of the NPCs, but they're all going to just say things like some puzzle here, a door will be here, an elevator will be here, stuff like that. So we don't really need to stop and chat with everyone. So let's head right. Let's just check out a few more screens because all these look really, really fantastic. Hey, it's an animal. <laughs> so now we're in a completely new area. Uh, this might be an enemy. He's not attacking so far. Wow, look how awesome this looks. To me, this just looks fantastic. Some of, like I said, the best graphics I've seen for a Nest Maker game so far. All right, let's just keep going right. We're gonna check out a little bit more. Kind of getting a little bit of a Castlevania vibe too, so maybe this is gonna be sort of a Castlevania, Metroidvania kind of game as well. And we've reached the dead end, so that's 
the end of his work in progress demo. Not a lot you can do yet, but the important thing here is just how amazing this looks. Alright, we got a few more to check out, let's move on. Alright, up next we have Desolate Desert by Kevin S. Uh, he's added some new mechanics, long HUD bars, time-based counter penalty, number splitter, visible enemy HP, and more. Let's go ahead and check this out. This looks like an adventure style game. You have been banished for the attempted assassination of the Sultan, and have been cast into the desert with only a water skin. Find the one who framed you. Cool. Here we go. So this uses some of the beta assets. Alright, we got a little pile of bones or something here. The remains of some poor soul who shared a similar fate. Robbing the dead may not be honorable, but you're going to need their sword more than they are. Oh sweet, now we have this giant sword. Alright, let's do this. So, let's see, what can we do with the sword? We can chop these bushes. Oh, they actually hurt us. Notice our water level up there is going down, so we need water to survive. We just found some and it put it back up. That is really cool. Alright, got some little enemies here. They're real slow and easy to kill. Looks like there's some water over there we can't get to yet. More guys to kill. Kill you. Kinda hard to see our sword with that background. I don't think we can even... Oh yeah, he's got a hundred health. <laughs> All right, let's kill him. All right, just a few more hits left, and I think all this is really doing is showing off the enemy HP counter, which worked. When I got to zero, he was dead. We only have four water left. Uh, we need some water really bad. Or we might die. Water, yes! <laughs> Water's so important. Okay, moving on. We got dehydrated attacking that 100 HP enemy, which was like a plant or something. <laughs> oh, I think uh, sometimes the sword just isn't showing up for some reason. That's why we couldn't see it earlier. All right, kill this guy. Kill the bat. Try to kill the bat. <laughs> More water, delicious. And we found the rest of the water. Alright, and there was that end tile that... There's a tile back there to say to get the item first. Let's head back to that and see what happens. Nice. End! Unfortunately, no boss fight planned to try one, but decided it was time to release this. This was a really cool little demo from Kevin S. showing you how you can get creative and add your own things to Ness Maker. Alright, next up we have a game from Mike called Vector Run. Let's check it out. Oh wow, <laughs> dang it, we died. All right, so this is definitely something different. He just went with a really minimalistic graphic style. Nice, <laughs> dang it. Okay, we gotta be, we gotta slow down on that third screen. There's not really any music. We might add some music. I always feel like music really adds to these games, so we might add some music. All right, so that might be a checkpoint or something. Ooh, we gotta swoop back, that's cool. Woo! Okay. So far, so good. I like these little swoopy jumps. Uh, warning! Jumping into the portal will send you to other dimensions. Proceed with caution. Okay. There's a portal. And... Oh, now we got <laughs> a little bit of color. Some yellow, blue, and red. Everything's really minimalistic, but it gives it its own style. This is definitely pretty fun. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Dang it. Go over here. So it looks like we need to go high on this next one. Kind of swoop over. Dang, that's tricky. Okay, let's see if we can pull this off. I think what we need to do is go like this and then like that. Nice, another checkpoint, but we're dead. <laughs> that was kind of a tough jump because once you hit the ceiling, you kind of bounce off. Dang it. Something tells me that's going to get pretty high here. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. No! You can do this. Come on, little stick figure guy. Mm. 
stick figure guy. You can do this if you put your mind to it. Checkpoint! Woohoo! This looks like a tough jump. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Ugh, there we go. Get over there. Nope. Nope. Dang it! Sometimes you just don't jump. Dang it! It's like you gotta jump a little early, maybe? Nope. Jump. Maybe over to here. Ah! Uh -huh. There we go. Another checkpoint. Don't mind if... Dang it! <laughs> Don't mind if I do. The fact there's not screen scrolling yet makes some of these screens tran transitions a little bit tricky. If you're going too fast, you'll die pretty quick. Alright. Jump. <gasps> what? Oh, I see. It's a tricky little portal part. To the right, to the left. Uh-oh, another portal. And... We got music! Things are getting better. No! Oh my god, did I miss the checkpoint? Not cool. Maybe the flower's a checkpoint? Hopefully. Okay, cool, we got a checkpoint now. No! <laughs> Okay. Come on, don't make a fool of me. Oh, there was a checkpoint. There we go. Jump quickly. <laughs> if you fall off. If you fall off, stick figure guy. Yes! Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint! No! I just run across the gap. Okay, there we go. No, where am I? Oh, I see, I see, I see. I think I see. <laughs> Come on, stick figure guy. Jump in there. Nice. Oh, get the checkpoint, silly pants. Oh, you suck. Okay, here we go. Jump. Nope. Okay. Checkpoint. Beautiful. <gasps> Where am I going? Oh, you can jump on the clouds. I think. Some of the clouds. <laughs> that one's solid. That one's solid, too. Okay. <sighs> that one's solid. That one's solid. Yes! Okay, we really need a checkpoint. We're we going... I don't think we have a checkpoint. Be careful. Loving the variety in the different sections, though. That's pretty cool. And we're dead. Oh, this game's gonna drive me crazy. Jump! Oh, there we go. Get in there. Where are the checkpoints? Alright, so we just need to jump into there. Checkpoint! Flag at the end like Mario? Oh, I thought we beat the game! Oh, I see, I see. I see now. What? <laughs> okay. Can we be at the end yet? Can we be at the end yet? Yes! <laughs> Congratulations! Many leave here, but very few return. <laughs> that was definitely some of the most fun I've had playing Dustmaker so far. Great job on that one. But we got one more to check out! Alright, so what I thought would be fun for the final game is to show you Nestmaker itself and a little project that I started working on. So a lot of you think Nestmaker is a game in which you make games for the NES. But that's not the case. Nestmaker is actually quite a bit different than that. So this is actually Nestmaker here. It's more of a program to make games than a game to make games. Let me go ahead and first we'll show you what I've created so far in this new little game I've been making. All right, so I've been making this little adventure style game where your main character is a car. His idle animation, he gets a little bit sleepy and starts closing his eyes. He also can roll 
left, right, up, and down. This is a custom character that I made, and all these sprites are custom sprites that I've made as well. All right, so we've got some roads, we got his little house. Uh, you can't really go anywhere, except for down here to the right. We go down to the right, and I made a little screen here with some water. A lot of this is work in progress, so there's some things I want to change. Head over to the right, and we have this little bridge, so we can go across the bridge. Nothing really to do so far. I'm thinking about making the bridge actually out, uh, having a big crack in it, and maybe have to do something to repair it to get by, I'm not sure yet. Uh, and that's pretty much all I've done so far. It takes a while to make a character and all these assets and stuff. All right, so here's the assets I've made for the game so far. We have some grass. We have these trees, which everything looks a little crazy when it's real big. Uh, then we have a double tree. We have some walls. Uh, lots and lots of assets. Uh, then you can go over to your overworld and you'll have basically a game map screen where you can plan out all your screens. Let's go ahead and make a new screen just for fun. And then you start placing your assets, which you've given different uh, abilities as far as to how they react to your characters. So once you've created your own assets, then it becomes a little bit more Mario Maker-esque as far as uh, how you place things down. You select your assets from the left and you put them down. But the difference here is you need to create all your assets or use an assets pack made by someone in the community. And I believe eventually Nest Maker will have some default assets you can use as well if you're not really into doing pixel art and stuff. I'm not great at pixel art, I'm new to it, and I've just been making some stuff, and it's actually really fun to learn and push yourself to try to uh, create little objects. Like here we now have a house, and along with the house I added some shading so it can give it some depth, so it looks like you have a little shadow from the roof there. Pretty cool. Alright guys, let me know what you thought of the games today in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.